Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a portable bandsaw table. I want to be able to use this still with the portability, but I also want to be able to put it on the bench top and use it in a table form. So there's a lot of cool designs online right now, and there's also some that you can buy, but those are quite as expensive, and I, I'm kind of cheap, so. Um, it looks like it's going to be a pretty easy build, so let's get some supplies. First thing I'm going to need is this 3 16 inch plate. Um, this is going to be the table itself. I will also, where'd they go? I'm going to use some 1 inch tubing. These are going to be the legs. Um, I also, one of my friends was scrapping some stuff and this neat clamp was on there. So I'm going to use this to hold the bandsaw underneath the table. I'm also going to cut out... Um, in the edges here, there's a piece that needs to be notched so it'll fit into place. But I can also put a notch because there is a little place on the bandsaw itself where I can slide the table in and it'll hold it into place. And then the clamp should hold it steady. Now I gotta just find out how wide I want the table. I'm gonna take a few measurements and then we'll go from there. Okay, um, got that cut out. Only problem is I need to leave a little bit of more material right in here, but that shouldn't be a problem. So we'll just go right up against there. I'll leave more material right through here. And I also want to, from that notch, I think I want this to go out, the table to go out to maybe 11 inches. So let's make a mark there as well. We'll do it at 11 and a quarter because I think the blade comes all the way to five and a three quarter. Now all we gotta do is cut this out. welded as you can see I rounded off the edges I got all my little notches cut round these off just because I don't want to bump into them just have sharp edges 
But I want to see if this thing fits now. this clamp and we should be good to go okay I run into one little problem all right I shortened up the handle as you can see and weld it so it won't come apart so now we got to do is just mark our bracket so we can weld this into place as you can see weld the clamp into place we'll just clamp down just like that let's see how it works Nice and sturdy, just what I wanted. Now I just gotta get some paint on this. Okay, got it all painted. I'm gonna sand down the top. Got a few wrinkles in the paint and some runs. It got down to freezing last night, so I'm not gonna worry about that too much, but I do wanna clean up the top. scale off the table so it'd be a nice smooth surface I also put the little covering back on the handle there cut it to fit uh, now I just need to see how it fits everything should just pull right up in the slot right there and voila looks pretty good Let's check see how square it is nice and square okay one of the issues you got to deal with on this is turning the power on and I'm just going to do this kind of simple I don't want to have to hold this button in all the time when I'm trying to use the saw so I'm just going to use a clamp to have it turn on that way when you throw power to it it will stay on but I also had got this foot pedal from Harbor Freight I think I'm going to buy an American made one just because I like American made tools. I don't know how long this will last, but this will work for right now. And I just happen to have it. So let's plug this in. See how this works. And that will do it. So that's it for this build. Um, if you guys have any similar projects that you would like to share with me, leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching.